I was living the best life that a person could live. I have two small, beautiful children who were three and six, and an amazing husband, Matt. I am an attorney and just was enjoying life. And all that changed on July 2nd, 2019. I was a very healthy person, always very skinny, and I started feeling distended. So I was at a different hospital, and the surgeon didn't really think anything was wrong, but because I was an advocate for myself, which I have learned that you absolutely have to do, um, I demanded a CT scan, and when I went back for my results of the CT scan was when I found out that I had cancer. So the way it's explained to me, this is an appendiceal cancer. Your appendix ruptures, and it covers all of the organs, or a lot of the organs in your abdomen like a coat of paint. And it was going to be a very invasive and scary surgery. So we started digging for the expert and we said, we we're going to, it doesn't matter where this expert is, we're going to find them. And every doctor and oncologist we spoke to said, you don't need to travel anywhere. Your expert is in your backyard at Winship. So when I got to Winship, my doctor made us feel so much better. He said, I basically am going to take you to the brink of death and bring you back. Um, but he also said, he's done more of these surgeries in the Southeast than anyone else. So the day before my surgery was scheduled, I went in for a biopsy and he called that night to tell me that I had a high grade cancer, which is one out of 10 people with this type of cancer have the high grade. And only 1500 people in the United States have this type of cancer generally. So my analogy is it was like getting hit by a Mack truck for the second time. <laughs> and then I was certain that I was not long for this world. I mean, it just didn't seem, based on everything I had read, that this was going to end well for me. It was my 39th birthday. On the exact day, I started 12 rounds of chemotherapy. Emory had a clinical trial for a six hour infusion instead of a two hour infusion, which I was a part of. And I do believe that that was part of the reason that I had minimal side effects. My doctor came out and told my husband that the cancer was much more extensive than they had hoped. And they essentially had to move, remove every organ, the non-vital organ that they could remove. But he remained very hopeful and he was very optimistic that he got all the cancer out. So I am what they call no evidence of disease, NED. Um, and so I'm living my best life. I am ramping back up at work. Um, I am playing with my kids every single day. I'm teaching preschool one day a week and I am just soaking up every moment that I can with my family, with my husband and all my friends. I just feel that I my life is dedicated now to Winship, that they have given me a second chance at life and so many other people in my position a second chance at life.